It's weird. You like hang out with animals more than people. Yeah, well, animals get me. I rescued George when he was two years old. George never would have survived on his own. He definitely trusts you. Last night, George was seven feet and weighed 500 pounds. George, you okay, buddy? You're scared. It's okay. This morning, he's nine feet pushing a thousand. What's happening to my friend? Are you familiar with genetic editing? Changes will be incredibly unpredictable. Is he the only one? Oh, you didn't know about the 30-foot wolf? <laughs> Day, huh? Science experiments falling from the sky. Having George on that plane, it's a big mistake. I think we'll be all right. Let's go save the world. It's coming back to me. George didn't ask for this. They're gonna put him down. That's not happening. George! Is there something in the river? Who the name of the gorilla again? Dingo Babies and Alligators, yeah, George. Okay, okay, now I got something. George? 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 George, George, George of the jungle? Um, <laughs> as gay as he can be. <laughs> I haven't seen that show or the movie starring Brendan Fraser in some time, so I'm unfamiliar with the theme to George of the Jungle. We saw a Dwayne The Rock Johnson picture. A, uh, based on a very sort of random and obscure video game, like Rampage, after it was out of the arcade, who really enjoys Rampage? I played it on N64 yeah, a couple of times, yeah, so it was okay, say, yeah, but you know. it gets kind of bored quick. Yeah, it's a really old game. Um, if you can't put it together, we saw the film Rampage. Rampage, yeah. Um, I, I have, like, no experience with the game at all. Well, it's really? just like an arcade game. You go yeah, I know. from top down, right? Mm, I maybe, maybe not. I'm talking I'm about sure the uh, one that was on N64. You would go, you'd start off on a screen, clear the buildings, move to the next screen, clear the buildings, move to the next screen, clear the buildings. Right. Yeah. I'm sure that there definitely is some verticality because verticality involved because you go up the building, smash one section, go up the next section, smash. Um, the movie, frankly, I mean, it was better than I thought it'd be, but it yeah. sort of unraveled toward the end. Pace problems, um, tone problems. The Rock, I don't know what his appeal is. He's the, like, blandest action hero I've ever seen in, in my life. Yeah, I mean, there's, there's two movies of his that I really fucking like a lot. Um, The Rundown and Snitch, which yeah. I think is really underrated, that movie. But um, he's uh, he's doing a very weird sort of acting now that was very reminiscent of Jumanji, which I know you said you didn't see. Where he rides in helicopters in every movie? No, Drives it's just like the way he's... Delivering um, the lines? Yeah, exactly. The way he's pronunciating his words and even his body language. It's sort of, it's, it's just very generic, very bland when he's, you, when he's yeah. telling a joke and when he's telling her, get to the back of the plane. There's no, right. there's no difference in his tone. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, it um, it's definitely better in the beginning. All the action is cool. Everything else is kind of lame, though. The um, another big problem with this was the villains were they were 
the least captivating villains oh, of any movie. I was like, wait, who, who's the villain? Are, are you the it villain? It was the dude are from The, the Office. Then... The later seasons of The Office was one uh, of the villains. Well, I never saw him. I, I missed those terrible, last ones. Terrible, terrible, yeah, awful. Malin Ackerman. <laughs> Is that his name? No, no, the girl. The, the, the other girl, yeah. she's. What else has she been in? Uh, she was in the remake of The Heartbreak Kid with Ben Stiller. I don't know if you ever saw that. I, parts um, of it. I recognize her now. I, I can't. She was in Harold and Kumar Go to White Castle. Ah. Was she the love interest? She was the girl who showed her titties. <laughs> oh, okay. In the, like, Backwoods Place. Who, She was like... Yeah. Chris <laughs> Maloney was the weird freak <laughs> redneck. Yeah. You know, um, he hasn't had a lot of... He should have a lot more comedic roles. I really liked him in that. He's, not, and, um, he's got, like, a new show that's pretty comedic, which looks kind of funny. He's, like, a teacher or something? It's like, um, he sees, like, this, like, unicorn that, like... It's oh. like a stuffed animal unicorn. It's on that talks Showtime or HBO, then, huh? Yeah, and uh, the guy who made Crank, one of the guys who made Ooh, Crank, okay. did it. So I, I really kind of want to see it. It's supposed to be batshit insane. I'd but, like to um, see it sometime. Yeah, uh, this movie, man, it is complete fucking schlock. <laughs> and yeah. it knows it and if, is. if you know that going in, it's going to be a lot better for Oh, you. yeah. I mean, okay. I, I didn't say that to you, but I, I assumed you figured <laughs> that it was going to be complete fucking well, schlock. Oh, yeah. I wanted to see the uh, <laughs> death day, truth or death, truth or dare yeah. movie. Yeah, I think... And I know that's going to probably oh, be a I, lot shittier than I'm this, and this really, wasn't that great. I'm, I'm very excited for that film. Very excited. Um, but, uh, yeah, honestly, th this movie shocked me at the beginning because I was like, whoa, They killed wait. somebody in the first two minutes. I thought it was going to be a family adventure, a fam nice family oh, romp. Oh, like, the movie starts out and I'm like, is this fucking alien? Like, wh wh I thought it was the cool. Yeah, I thought was it was good. a commercial for that goddamn Netflix Cloverfield, Cloverfield paradox yeah. or something. Yeah, because I should say, like, the previews did not play during our screening. It just went straight into the movie. They, um, they start me. out with... Short-haired lady in space. The only woman who can um, go in space is the one with short hair, apparently. Yeah. And she has to get this serum or else... I don't know, well, they I guess won't, they won't let they're going to blow her up or something? No, they won't let her leave and go into the escape pod unless... Okay, they have to activate it. Yeah, and I was that was really cool. Like, the yeah. tension building of that. All the action was pretty good. All the action yeah. was great. Everything in between was... um. It wasn't terrible, but it was very bland. Well, that's the very... thing. The very next scene is fucking awful. When he's signing with him? Yeah, and you and you <laughs> see all the people. Calm. Calm, George. Oh, Calm. God. It was Ugh. it was very funny watching him try and converse through sign with an ape. Yeah, Dwayne what, Johnson. What I'll tell people is that there's a guy who works at the zoo with glasses. Who I was like, sweet Jesus, is this guy going to be in the whole fucking movie? They kind of like they inter he's gone. they introduce the he's gone after the, his minutes. team, the first the three the or four guys team. in yeah. a zoo team, and then twenty minutes later we don't hear from them again. Yeah, it, it just starts out at the zoo. Um, basically, at the beginning of the movie, this girl's in this, she's in a spaceship, and you know she's she's got a there, there's, there's a giant primal rage. Primal Rage. <laughs> another Rage. random game. Another game, yeah. There's another... There's a Rampage rat on board the space station tearing shit up. She's got to escape. She gets in the escape pod. With the samples, yeah. yeah. And basically, her escape pod blows up, and it lands on Earth. And that's what creates the monsters. In the uh, debris, the, giant monsters. Um, the serum, like, you know, it just falls all over the place. Yeah. There was only three monsters. I always thought there was four. Yeah, they're, maybe they're setting up for a sequel with that or something. Well, yeah, but they fucking killed all. They killed all the people. <laughs> they killed in the Chicago. tension, man. They killed, they killed all the... the people in Chicago. <laughs> it was crazy. But yeah, I uh, definitely would agree. <laughs> it's um, it's totally inconsistent because, like I say, it starts off and they're like, "Holy shit, is this alien?" There's literally a scene which is um, you ever played Dead Space? Nah, but I There's am familiar with it. The the front cover of the first Dead Space game. There's that, you know, hovering arm that's been sliced off in zero G, and you see that in this movie on the ship at the at the beginning. And I was like, oh, that's a cool, nice, nice little nod to Dead Space. There's a lot of there's a at least a couple Jaws references I noticed as well. Yeah, and the music, <laughs> except it was Hans Zimmer to hell. It was the Jaws music, yeah, but it was Hans I, Zimmer. I was not into the score. hundred percent. But uh, did you notice the the movie reference? The one movie reference that they brought up. They said the title of what? Blood Diamonds. Oh yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> it's just like, wow. That was actually funny. It's like, <laughs> I went to Uganda, I, Blood Diamond. I know they're probably not the same region, but they're pretty similar, huh? Or yeah. some shit like that. Then, it made me laugh. Yeah, and The Rock's got a nice little joke about, you know, man, there is some huge monkey shit that this guy is dropping. Yeah, he said that. <laughs> Why, was Which it was another enjoyable. gorilla? The black one in the beginning? Yeah, it was a. It was another... Why did he look like a chimp? I don't know his, if his really? hair was grown weird. His head, mm. he looked just like a ch big chimp. Um, but I'm no apologist yeah. or well, whatever. He's primatologist. <laughs> primatologist. Yeah, you're no. Uh, what is it? Uh, what is it? What is what's what's her name? Jane. Jane's got a With good. The apes, you know Jane. You remember her? Jane Goodall. Jane Goodall. Yeah, you know Jane Goodall. Um, <laughs> But, Fuck um, that, man. I ain't trying to chill with no apes. Yeah. Um, I will say that I do think the CG in this movie looked really good for the most part. It was pretty good, but the gorilla, he really reminded me of Dawn of the Planet of the Apes. When they first introduced the, um, not Dawn, the, whatever the Planet of the Apes is that was the first one in this Rise series. Rise of the Planet of the Apes? Yeah. Yeah. When, um... We first are introduced to the villain. He's bashing the space station. You hear him yelling through the wall. He yells like, What's wrong with us, bloody... He doesn't say it exactly, but right. I feel like he has an English accent. I thought it was going to be the same black guy from... Black villain guy from uh, Rise of the Planet of the Apes. Uh -huh. But it okay. was the American guy from the later seasons in The Office. Yeah. He dates the uh, assistant in The Office. I thought it was his sister. Assistant. You know, in the... That in the movie we're talking oh, about in the office, okay. he in ends office. up dating uh, whoever that one oh. lady's name is. Not yeah. him. He um he for me, I wanted to blow my fucking brains out. Very annoying. Every, every time he spoke, when there was a scene where I, I'll be honest with you, I, I wanted to walk out of the theater during that scene hmm? where Which he one? he was holding a hot pocket. And Not a hot pocket. He was holding a pop tart inside yeah, 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 a pop yeah, tart. Yes, yes, pouch. exactly. Yes, forgive me. It was it was a pop tart. That made me laugh. And. Just at how ludicrous was, it all was. And he's like chewing and drinking coffee. And I, I was honestly like, wow. If this guy is in the movie... I, I was I was going to lean over to you and be like, if this guy doesn't get his head ripped off in the next ten minutes, I'm out of here. Yeah. <laughs> like, we'll, um, this is so fucking annoying. We'll talk about the fates of everyone at, <laughs> at, after the spoiler section. I mean, there's yeah. not really much to there's spoil no, because not. it's all... It's fucking... It's, it's a all, schlock. It's, it's all going to go down schlock. like you expect it will, but it's a lot more violent. Definitely yes. a lot more violent than that, I thought it would be. That there were some kids that came violent. in. Oh, yeah, there were some kids. Well, this has got to be PG-13, right? Yeah, and that, that shocked me because, like I said... There's people getting chewed violence. up, getting ripped up, all tons of shit in this. Yeah. I, don't, um, I didn't mind it. That sort of kept me engaged a little more. Yeah. There's stakes. Obviously not for the rock or um, his doctor well, friend. For me, the best part about the movie was uh, Jeffrey Dean Morgan. Which one was he again? He was the um, government agent. Did they have two different? Texas. Did they have another Asian FBI agent who was from The Walking Dead? Um, Isn't that where that Henry Dean Morris is from? Jerry uh, Jeffrey Dean Morgan Jeffrey is from Dean The Morgan, Walking Dead. Pardon me. Yeah, he. Um, I loved him in this movie. He was just chewing the fucking scenery. He was okay, but it was oh, it was yeah, too dude. much. He kept. It he, was the same thing over and over and over again. Yeah, but it worked. His entire role was, all right, we're in trouble. Hey, guys, how you doing? Like a cowboy says, you got to be yeah. in the right place at the right time. Yeah, <laughs> just, he's, just, he's just fucking swagger and just fucking spouting off one line. He was fine. Just give him something more to do. Like, oh, yeah. Him in the no, action. no, I totally agree. He needed to be in the movie more. The Rock is the least... I, he was the least interesting person Vin in the Diesel movie. Vin Diesel at least has like a gruffy voice. You know what I mean? Yeah, and honestly, when I was watching this movie, I was like, you know, The Rock needs to get smaller. He's way too fucking big. I like, wasn't. Like, it, that didn't really bother me. Uh, it's just he, he needs. Has no he needs a goatee. He looked like, just so fucking meaty. It was awkward to me. Yeah. Well, he's a big fucking dude, man. Yeah, he's just fucking pumping iron constantly, eating fucking whole chickens. <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> it was kind of weird that they put him in this. Like, I don't know. Well, he, he, giant he, he's the one who got this around. fucking green light. He loved Rampage as a kid, right. playing in the arcade, and so he and he um, 
The guy who directed this did it, San Andreas, the uh, earthquake movie that he was Where in. he flew a helicopter. Yeah, which was a lot better than this. I'll say. I didn't see that. I, I had no desire to see it. I'm done with disaster like, movie or oh, natural disaster There's movies. A smoking fucking hot chick in that movie. Oh, my God. The lead? Uh, his daughter. The girl who plays his daughter in it. Alexandra Daddario. She's smoking fucking Name hot. sounds familiar. I can't place it. She was in True Detective. You ever saw True Detective? The first season? Yeah. Was she, she was the, the naked chick with Woody Harrelson. With the fu- you want to talk about rock and tits? The, uh, Woo, man. The, what do the Italians call it? Gumar? The side chick? The side piece, <laughs> yeah, as the, the kids say. There's a few, there's in the a lot of hot of chicks our times. in the first season of True Detective. How do you feel about Michelle Moynihan? Uh, sneaky hot. It's okay. She used to be better. That's what her age has not done it. Her age has not done well. Well, the thing is, she has this sort of uptick pig nose thing going on. Let's forget about bashing <laughs> great Hollywood actors. Yeah, let's uh, chill and misogyny. <laughs> All right, I'm sorry, I got off track there. Give me uh, some positives you liked from Rampage. Uh, well, like I say, I liked Jeffrey Dean Morgan a lot in the movie. Uh, lit up when he was kind of talking. Enjoyed him doing his, you know, nice Texas accent. Um, and, uh, I really liked, uh, Joe, uh, I can never say his last name right. Joe Mangiello. Which one was he? He was the dude with the scar on his face at the beginning. Oh, with the well, strike team. he seemed pretty cool, but they got rid of him pretty fucking quick. He turned two in the first 20, they just changed the cast He's, over 20 minutes after the movie I would have much starts. preferred if he was the lead of this movie. If it was like yeah. him and Jeffrey Dean Morgan. Because yeah. they're like, these guys are fucking awesome. They have like, a, they got screen presence, man. Yeah, they feel like, um, like, uh... Feel, I hate to keep saying the same things over and over again, yeah. but it's hard when I really boil it down. That's yeah. what rock, The Rock was in this movie for me. Just totally yeah, bland. He was, totally. he was very boring in the movie. This started out, the first, the first two acts were like an 80s action movie, but, you know, modernized CGI and stuff. Yeah. If you had, like somebody charismatic, you know, delivering those funny lines, somebody saying that cool thing before the goddamn monster gorilla bites some dude in half, you know what I mean? Like, that really helped this movie a lot. Yeah, I mean, it's... It um, had a great... It had a sort of a, a frenetic pace in places. Like, it was sort of eager to get things going. Yeah. But then it would sort of... It would stop for... Sort well, of exposition, yes, but not really important I'm, I'm exposition. I'm glad you brought I guess. that up because that's that's my that's my biggest negative. Is there is so much techno babble bullshit in this fucking movie? Yeah, and it was like, all. What are you? I'm not a scientist, saying? and it all sounded very retarded. Oh my god, I was like, shut the fuck they, up! They every put time in they were bat, talking about bat that. DNA or uh, bats genes, so that. If they blast the specific waves, the monsters will be compelled to run yeah. to Chicago. Yeah, I mean, I felt like my brain was melting every time they were talking about science shit. It I didn't bother like, me that much because I going in this movie, I knew it was going to be fucking dumb. I knew it was going to yeah, be shit. Yeah, so did I. So but, I didn't really things though details like that. I just like me. all right, whatever. Let's just get to the let's get on with the ride. Well, that's what know? I was saying. It's like let, let me get to the fucking monsters punching each other. Too long. What? So you? Yeah. What would you take away from this movie? What would you cut out? Um, well, I would have cut out the fucking guy at the beginning with the zoo. Uh, that, that dude with the glasses, I couldn't stand that fucking guy. I would have cut he him was, out of the movie he was, I could see how he could bother somebody. He was pretty um, cheesy. I would also cut out the villains completely. I, I, like, literally, I was like, what is this, yeah. what, what, what does this even make any sense? This is, what does it matter? It's like their whole plot is just well, stupid. It, that's the whole point. The whole thing was stupid, but they are, they were so nothing I mean, to the movie that it didn't really it, like if you think about like the blob it could have yeah. had that it's like okay a satellite hits earth monsters that's it you yeah. don't need villains the monsters are the fucking villains well they could have they sort of they made villains of the army like they do in most movies which is fine you know you gotta make I a mean, quick I, I guess, they, they just won't drop bombs right. it's an easy yeah, picture to paint wow. let's say I, I get mean, it and um it was it was be- he was better than the fucking real villains. Yeah, which we'll again get into momentarily. Let me um, let me check something real quick. All right, what did I like about the movie? The um, the set pieces, the action was all pretty good. I mean, it reminded me of what like Godzilla, if it was good, would have been. The action, the, uh, the action, which, and which, stuff. which Godzilla? <laughs> Let's say '98. I never saw the um, the recent one. Brian Cranston oh, one. Fucking awful. 
It oh, has uh, the dude from Kick Ass in it. I'm yeah, not a big he's, fan. He's of his. totally fucking. He was good in a movie called Nocturnal Animals, <laughs> but uh, yeah, I'm not a fan of that guy. He reminds me a lot of the kid from The Girl Next Door, Emil Hirsch. Oh yeah, I like Emil Hirsch, so he's a way better actor. I haven't seen anything besides that. He was in Killer, Girl Next Door. He's in Killer Joe. He's good mm. in that. What are then action? Um, Your positives, you know. I knew it was a dumb movie going in, yeah. so that really helped sort of take yeah. away the illogical nature of everything that happened. Um, yeah. As long as you go in with knowing it's going to be dumb and knowing The Rock isn't going to be very, you know, very compelling. I keep saying the same words, drinking game. <laughs> you guys decide the rules. Yeah, a uh, drinking game. Every time he says, George, take a shot, you'll be dead in five minutes. <laughs> He yells, he yells George a lot in this movie. It reminded me of fucking Akira, where at Akira. the end at the end of Akira, they're just screaming, Akira, that's all, for the whole fucking last, like, half an hour. And I was just like, that pissed me off so much. I'm like, like Is seriously. Akira good? I, a lot of people love it. I don't like it at all. Wasn't into it. I've never seen it. If it's not Cowboy Bebop, I don't give a fuck about any other anime. Have you ever seen the original Ghost in a Shell? No, nah, I gotta get around to it. I it's saw the very, American. It's movie. very science heavy. Like yeah. going, like it's the complete opposite of this movie. Yeah. You have to listen and process the terms that they're yeah. saying. You know what I mean? Yeah, I'm. I'm I, I uh, I'll get around to it. It's I, pretty. I, I enjoy it. I like. I don't know if I like it because it goes so deep yeah. into hard sort of sciencey stuff, or mm -hmm. if it's a good movie. I can't decide. Yeah, the the American remake actually wasn't bad. I don't think it deserves the hate that it got. Is pretty interesting. Yeah. But, um, well, wait. Yeah. I haven't seen it, but I'm willing to bet it sort of skimps on that sort of hard sci-fi sort of style. Yeah, it's you know definitely I mean? probably not as deep anywhere close to as deep as the anime. Um, but uh, yeah, for Rampage, um, I I'm not going to recommend this at all. Um, I really did not like this movie. Um, it didn't work for me on any level. Uh, we didn't have the greatest theater experience, unfortunately. Um, <laughs> but. Uh, it's just, I, I couldn't get comfortable. I couldn't get in the flow of the movie. I was just like, man, this yeah, is... Yeah, I kept shifting, too. This is just not working for me at all. I needed the bar. I need yeah. the bar. <laughs> I need the bar to be comfy. Not a bar to drink, my friends. A bar to rest my legs and my feet in Oh, yeah. Bliss. I do, I do want to add uh, another thing before we go into spoilers. Uh, I didn't give my recommendation. Okay. But add your thing. Go ahead. Add your thing. Uh, uh, recommendation. Come on. Keep the train. Keep the train moving here. Is uh, it's funny because plowing ahead. <laughs> because we saw good sign language in a quiet place, and we see bad sign language. Yeah, he does a total. Movie. There's like a total of four <laughs> fucking signs the entire movie. Oh, uh, there's. Oh, and every time he keeps doing this one same sign where he's like karate chopping his hand. Oh, okay. And then yeah, the other. I one kept where he's noticing the one where he's fist bumping himself. Oh. God, it's just so fucking annoying. Like, just, God, like, this movie is just so fucking I annoying to me. I tried to just let it go, but it was, it, the weird thing was, there was like, f you've taught a gorilla sign language, yet you're yelling yeah. at him the whole movie. Yeah, so, um. And plus, they only showed like four, maybe five scenes. Eating, George, hey George, family, and then like, yeah. the chopping thing. Oh, and hungry. Yeah, hungry. And cry. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and flipping the bird, but I don't know if that's official. Yeah, oh, our theater loved language. that one. They were laughing every they went time. They crazy. It was... Monkey giving the finger! <laughs> CGI ape. CGI Jesus. monkey. No, no, no. Let's correct ourselves. Pri a great ape. Oh, okay. A gorilla, an so, ape, is a great wanna, ape, not a chimp. Give you a recommendation before we go into spoilers. I'd say this is a good movie if you, um... Are looking for a movie to bring a kid to? You got a son, a daughter, or something? Bring them to that. There's a lot of swearing in this, dude. Yeah, it's, I'm fine with that. <laughs> I've seen ever since I was—I used to watch like tons of sweary bad movies when I was a kid. Yeah. I yeah. saw Terminator 2 when I was like fucking seven. Well, yeah, I mean, listen, I grew up watching. Exactly. But uh, that's—they're taking—they're trying to—I don't know—they're trying to like, take it I away from kids saying. now because like. I see them, they just, like, throw on Mickey Mouse Clubhouse for a DVD for fucking three Mickey hours Mouse and then Clubhouse. grab the next one. Yeah, I guess you're right. I used to, I love just flipping through TV on Sunday and watching a movie. Any movie, yeah, well, whether it was good or bad. on TV. Nah. But anyways, 
I wouldn't recommend it unless you want to bring a kid to a movie and you want a movie that they're going to like and you're going to maybe also have at least, uh, you know, at least a few good moments, yeah. a few enjoyable spots. You yeah, know what I mean, I, mean I, I think if you want to bring a kid, you're better off taking him to the Jumanji than, than this. Uh, it's probably a lot more kid-friendly, a lot more yeah, humorous. Yeah, a lot more humorous, better for the family. Um, I mean, if you really love The Rock, you're going to go see it, but yeah. I feel like, was that, do you feel like that was the case? Because there was a lot of people in our theater. Do you think people, he's just a draw now? Yeah, yeah. He, just go he's, to his movies? Yeah, he's just a movie star. Um, I will say, like, when he makes R-rated movies, they all bomb, but PG-13, they tend to make money. What so are, he's a broad audience kind of guy. What are movies? What are movies? Yeah, what are movies? Is he, uh, he He did Faster. Which I totally didn't see. Flopped. Um, he like has to save his daughter or some shit. Yeah, it's garbage. Um, he was also in Southland Tales, which was horrific. He was uh, a lawyer or like a street tough cop or a yeah, detective he did this weird or something. Thing with his fingers the whole movie. I didn't see it. I it looked the, interesting, but the I guy never who um, it. directed Donnie Darko that was his. I next still feature. haven't seen Donnie Darko. Donnie Darko's really good. Yeah. Don't watch the director's cut, theatrical cut. Don't ever watch the director's cut. Too much. Just. Don't fucking watch the director's cut. Mm. Theatrical. <clears throat> <clears throat> Alright, let's get into spoilers. Um, yeah, the coolest the, character gets fucking killed. Yeah. <laughs> Joe Manchiel. Five minutes after fucking, we made him. Uh, he, he, he was really fucking cool. I liked him. He and, didn't leave much of an impression, but he was ten times... For me, he didn't leave much of an impression, but uh, he was still yeah. ten times better than fucking rock yeah, was. Yeah, I, I liked his squad. And there was a bald guy. He was, he was kind of the, you know, the shit talker. a lot of Predator. Their brief yeah, moment in the very helicopter. true. Yeah, it does. It does remind a predator. It also felt like the guys um, uh, at the end of Zero Dark Thirty, the guys who do the raid on uh, Bin Laden's yeah, uh, the palace. SEAL team. Yeah, the SEAL team. But FYI, that's apparently CIA propaganda. Yeah, well, don't take it as true. Yeah, well, it is a really good movie though. I'll give love it that. The fucking, I like Zero the Dark Thirty. Last half an hour of that raid sequence, man, fucking incredible. So Catherine, little happens, but it's so compelling. Yeah, Catherine Bigelow, man, when she makes an action scene, she's fucking amazing. The dog chasing scene in uh, Point Break, it ends oh, with him shooting in the air. God, it's so cheesy, so but it works so good. good. Point Break, God, I fucking love that movie. Got it home. Oh, he was what's his name? Not Keanu. Keanu. Patrick good Swayze. Sometimes. Patrick Swayze. He could say he man, put out a lot of shitty movie. movies, but he when he when hit, he was on, he hit. Whew, man, he was fucking. You ever good. see Black Dog? Ye. Black dog, yeah. Isn't that the one where he's a he's truck a trucker. driver? <laughs> yeah, he's a trucker. And he has a trucker gang crew, and yeah. Meat Loaf is oh the <laughs> villain. <laughs> the villains in this one, they, um, we spend about 10, 12 minutes with them, and one gets eaten. Which is, like, hilarious when she gets She eaten. serves as a pill for the gorilla, <laughs> because she she's is the she's antidote like, in her purse. She's falling, she's just like... Oh shit! Yeah, is, what did they say in that movie? Butch Dance, Sundance Kid, and Butch Cassidy. Is that what he said? Bullshit or oh no, shit? No, he said when they oh, go over. Rev Robert Redford screams oh shit when they jump okay. off the waterfall. Yeah, that's a great movie. Still Fucking, haven't seen it. Oh my god! Oh, I liked so uh, the Sting a lot. I thought it was very interesting. The Sting is very good as well. Paul Newman and Robert Redford they had such good chemistry together. They were really good friends. And man, whew. Classic, classic films that I'd Very much good. rather be talking about yeah. than this. <laughs> but we gotta, we gotta get it over with. We yeah. gotta do it. Um, um, yeah, man, I really don't want to see movies like this for the show anymore. <laughs> like, like after, well, you know, well, why don't, why don't you tell uh, these fine folks who suggested this one? Well, I, I wanted to see it because I, I didn't want to deal with a big crowd because I know I figured this is gonna, you know, just the crowds for this weekend seeing this movie would be awful, but. You know. It was pretty crowded in there tonight, my friend. Yeah, well, it wasn't pretty as bad. Pretty goddamn crowded in there tonight. <laughs> well, nobody was sitting right, you know, right next to me on the other side, so it wasn't like I was. It wasn't yeah. like a quiet place where like, you could hear somebody breathing right behind my neck. Yeah, that was just awful. But um, well, they put in a small. Th if they put a quiet place in that bigger theater, it oh, would have would have been a lot nicer. Yeah, I'd say it probably would have been a little less than Rampage. Maybe the same. I. I don't care. It's unimportant. I thought you liked the quiet place. I mean, the crowd sucks. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah, it would have been about, I guess, probably about the same, more spread out, yeah. It, uh... 
All the jokes missed. The oh, only time I laughed sucked. was when something awkward yeah. happened. Um, yeah, there's a lot of awkward shit. Though. There's a lot of lines that The Rock would say. Like, it would be sort of a standard action movie line. He's about to blow something up with a goddamn grenade launcher. <laughs> I yeah. can't even remember what it was. It's so nothing to me, you know. Yeah, he, well, he, he. It's, it reminded me of Alien vs. Predator because they have that scene where he's gonna be like, "Motherfucker!" It's like you The know, Rock thought this it. was like yeah. a sort of family action adventure, and the uh. director, the other people were like, "We're gonna make this super dark. We're gonna have a bunch of people get eaten, a yeah. bunch of buildings get destroyed." Yeah, it's. Yeah, it's just it's just not good. See what, like I said, there's not a lot of spoilers to this. No, there isn't. It's just about who dies. It's all standard. Everything's very standard. Yeah, it's, it's there's not there's just not a lot to talk about. It's and you know it, to me it's not good schlock. Like when I see something horrible like Gods of Egypt and I'm laughing my ass off and I'm having a blast, or like you know After Earth, which you know a lot of people hated, but I was just. I was just having fun with it. You, you know? knew it was going to be shitty. Yeah, and I just had fun with it. I was along for the ride like this, man. Like, I just... Nothing? I, I knew it wasn't going to be a great movie and that it you was going to be could, stupid. Could but, you get down man. with the action? With some of the set pieces? Some of the sort of CGI Honestly, scenes? like, I, it, it looks good, but I didn't like the action scenes at all. Okay. I like the... I um, like the scenes with, with uh, the Joe Mangiello. I liked him with, with his, like, SEAL team. <laughs> you like kinda. the scene where he, he sets up, gives orders, and then they get on a helicopter, he shoots, shoot at a he wolf. Shoots, shoots at the wolf, they go down And there. then they all get eaten. Yeah, they're all kind of I liked him getting eaten scene. That was cool. Yeah. A wolf is right next to his face. Which, he turns to grab yeah. his gun or something, and then immediate. Yeah. But I, I will say that the one aspect of the CG that didn't really look good to me was the wolf. I was like, it was its a bad... transformation looked bad when yeah. it became reptilian. When yeah. it was just a big wolf, it looked pretty dope, right? Did yeah. you think so? I thought it was okay. It's kind of like almost half porcupine too because it throws those quill things. Yeah, that was kind of weird. Yeah. Um, it also flew, which from the preview you all know. Yeah, we all knew and I wish they did more with that because it was like almost like a squirrel wingsuit and I was like, oh, that's kind of cool but they don't you do know, anything with it. The about monsters, it didn't really... Didn't focus on the monsters. No, it doesn't. Too much. That's the thing. It's like, yo, like get to the fucking monsters. It was mostly. I did like how there was the Rock didn't have any family issues. We didn't have to go into no. his military badass past. It's not about his backstory at all. There's like no backstory to his character. The only one who really gets a backstory is the villains and the black chick. Yeah, his doc, the Naomi black lady doctor Harris, friend. Yeah. Yeah. Love interest, sort of. It doesn't really come up in the movie till the end, but yeah, till whatever. The end when the gorilla is making, he's taking his finger and sticking it through his hand. The international like fucking, fuck symbol. Yeah. And it's just, yeah. I mean, I, I'm not mad at this movie. Yeah. I mean, I was annoyed because I was like, man, I, this could have been so much better. You know? I was just like, you know. Like you could have had more fun with it. It didn't feel yeah. it didn't feel fun to me. I wasn't having a good time with it really. Um, I had fun with the action stuff. Yeah, I just I don't know, man. It's uh, disappointing for me. Yeah, I wasn't really super looking forward to this. See, movie that's either. the thing, disappointing. I had no ex. I thought it was going to be brutally awful. Really, you thought it was going to be brutally awful? Yeah. I don't know. See, I didn't. I didn't feel that way, but. I figured it was going to be, you know, I figured it was going to be complete schlock, and it was, but to me it wasn't good schlock. Yeah. You know. Well, what makes, give me, what makes good schlock for you? What would you say is a good schlocky movie, besides well, After Earth and... Gods of Egypt. Gods of Egypt. Um, man. Oh, good schlocky movies. Yeah. Um, I'm trying to think. Um, like, uh, Have you ever seen uh, Battlefield Earth? Battlefield Earth with Aaron, um, what's his name? Not Battlefield Earth, I'm talking about... Oh, yeah, yeah, John Travolta. Yeah. Is Netflix that what it's right called? Now. You're what's talking about John Travolta? You're thinking of Battle LA? Yeah, I was thinking of Battle okay. LA with, um... The I've never seen, from... um, Battlefield Earth, but I'd really... I watched a quick review about it. I'm gonna probably watch it pretty soon. It's all Dutch angles. <laughs> yeah, that's what I heard. <laughs> yeah, I've, uh, I, uh... I saw it when it came out on VHS, uh, Blockbuster. I remember my mom fucking running it. And yeah. Did she just pick, did you tell her to pick it or did you I did love John Travolta. It? I wanted to see it. <laughs> Why did you, what movies did you love John Travolta for in the mid to late 90s? Uh, Phenomenon. 
Shorty. Uh, I never saw it. Get Shorty. I remember it. I, I watched Get Shorty when I was a kid, and I, f I hated it. Really? I had no idea what was going yeah. on. Um, Pulp Fiction. Uh, um, uh, what else did I really like of his? Um, that Fox, one, uh, that one movie Stunned where he does movies. like a Tarzan disco ballet. Tarzan disco ballet. Saturday Night Fever uh, sequel. I've actually never seen uh, either Saturday Night Fever or the sequel Staying Alive. I saw Staying Alive on TV one day. It has to be one of the worst films. I was like 12 Didn't and I could Stallone recognize. Was that his first movie he directed or something like I that? I think so. Yeah, and his, like, somebody I knew somebody hinky, hinky. I can't believe I just used that word. I knew, I know somebody strange directed it. Yeah. Let's say. Yeah, I mean, listen, I like Travolta. I'm blanking on the movies. Yeah, I mean, listen, I had, I agree. He Greece. can be good. He was a lot better um, back in the day, though. Yeah. What was uh, Rocky? No, that's Stallone. Pardon me. I'm yeah. trying to think of another 70s Travolta movie. Uh, he was in Urban some cowboy, cowboy movie. Urban I never cowboy. saw it. He did um, uh, Grease, obviously, which which I did like as a kid. Yeah. I used to watch it a lot. My I sister would watch it a lot. I hate it. Uh, Another yeah. reason why I hate musicals. Yeah, I, I, that's one of the musicals that I did like. I haven't seen it in fucking forever, though. Yeah. Um, it's just one of those you've seen it so many times, you know it all. Yeah, every fucking scene. Who is the hottest one in Greece? Who's the hottest lady? Uh, Olivia Newton-John, man. Huh? You think so? Mm -hmm. I can't think of any others. Mother at the end? Whew. There's only one I can think other I can think of that one with pink hair. I don't know any names. Well, yeah, none of them were ever in anything else, right? No. Well, that was his big break. John Travolta? Yeah, and Olivia Newton-John. How many John. big breaks have John Travolta had? Pulp Fiction, that, Saturday Night Fever? Yeah, he was decent in uh, the remake of Taking a Pelham 1, 2, 3. Uh, Tony Scott directed that. Somebody told me the to see the original and not see the new one. Is the original good? Uh, slow, Walter Matthau is the... I've had never seen a young Walter Matthau movie. He actually did some crime films. It's kind of yeah. That's shocking. what I figured. He was probably. I figured he probably played a cop Which or a is criminal, weird, right? Like he, uh, all throughout my life when I when I grew well, up, because he was an old guy hot, by then. No, I'm saying like I saw a lot of his older films, like The Odd oh. Couple and shit, all this okay. Jack Lemmon stuff. And I, and I grew up with him with Grumpy Old Men, which I loved the first one, I mean, and even the second one, I've got some affinity for. I haven't yeah. seen them in forever, but. I used to watch those all the time on VHS. You, have, you as a child had a very strange, strange uh, VHS collection and decision. I didn't own it. I would get it at the library. Yeah, me too. The library. Would just we used to do that a lot, and then we stopped for some reason. Yeah. Eh, never mind. Um, all the grumpy old nun facts. <laughs> why don't we, since we're veering off track, get yeah, your we're um, really. We'll give our final ratings, pick yeah. rating on um, Rampage. I'd say to five. You know, <laughs> it's got some nice action stuff, but everything else is <laughs> everything else is kind of shitty. Yeah, uh, I'll give it a four. I can't give this a five. It's just as stupid as fucking shit. I mean, it was, it was really dumb. It's but like, I knew that going in, it was plot, gonna probably be super dumb. The just totally just and like I said, the techno babble bullshit just bugged the fuck out of me. The exposition scenes are so bad. Yeah, they were really rough. Yeah, I, I can't give this an average rating. This is, this is below average for sure. I really like the action stuff. How many times have I said that? That's the drinking game. Every time I, I say that. feel about the atmosphere? <laughs> there was... The atmosphere... At the beginning like, was pretty good. Like I said, the First atmosphere scene. was very... It was like The Rock wanted a fun action adventure. But everybody else, movie. I can't say. You, 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 we always say the director this, director that. That's may not be the case. Yeah. The people, the creative people like behind the film, it felt like wanted a sort of darker, you know, more yeah. action, harder action, rough. You yeah, know what I'm saying? You feel me? Crushed by fucking cement and exploding. <laughs> One of the villains gets crushed by a giant block of cement, yeah. and we are supposed to applaud that. Yeah, and you it monsters. wasn't even satisfying for me. I was like, I hated that guy, and I was like, I wish he got killed in a different way. It was super far off screen. Not off screen, but it was super far in the background. Yeah. I wanted to see him like get like thrown like across the continent. <laughs> like, yeah, what everybody person else, does? all the extras get like <laughs> grabbed and ripped and fucking, you know that gator things when they do, they like yeah. go move their head back and forth right, as they're tearing yeah. at you? All the extras got that, nobody else. Yeah. Everybody else got a quick death. I guess it's more expensive to um to linger. 
to flop, you know, More that pixels. guy from the office around yeah. than just some extra. The plight of the extra, we recognize. Vote 4427 in April. But getting back to Walter Matthau, was he in JFK? Oh, I think he was dead. Okay. No, 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 no. He was. He, he was. was. I, but I was mixing him up with another yeah. character because Jack Lemon is also in it. But his partner yeah. is Ed Asner, I want to say. I still haven't seen JFK. So it's was... long. It's good. It's all bullshit, too. But it's, I'm not you know, a, it's a compelling Oliver movie. Stone. I think Oliver Stone's a piece of shit. Do you I like really Platoon? Do. Platoon is great. Um, he wrote a script for a movie called Midnight Express, which is really good. I haven't seen it. I know it, I know about it. Billy. watch that movie. About people stuck in like a fucking Turkish prison. Yeah, really. John Hurt, uh, not John Hurt, William Hurt, can't remember, are in it. Uh, if John Hurt was in it, that'd be dope. I love John Hurt. Yeah. John, the English guy, right? Yeah, so I'm not sadly, mixing him up with William sadly Hurt. Sadly has passed away, had pancreatic cancer. It's another issue that doesn't get brought to light too much. Yeah. Let us recognize... The pancreases of those men and women around the world. Steve Jobs. I kind of got tired of his shtick. You know, do you know that he refused... Don't wish he would, him dead, no, obviously. No, no he's, he is dead. Um, he ref... Don't wish him... He, yeah. I mean, when you like hear about doctors, like they badmouth Steve Jobs because like he refused any actual... Uh, medical help. He wanted to do everything like holistically Yeesh. for his pancreatic cancer. He probably could have lived significantly more time. Yeah. But he just like he went total fucking idiot with uh, the whole yeah, holistic well, kind of treatment you know, of fucking pancreatic cancer. I guess he, I guess chemo shitty and shit. You know. Yeah. But if you want to live, I guess yeah. it's probably the most shit. likely Pump option to the go with chemo, man. Do something. You're, you're. I mean, how many fucking billions of dollars does the guy have? You get the best medical on the fucking planet. You could have every yeah. fucking doctor twenty four seven. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. You know. But uh, what do you want to talk about, Walter? The Mata? um. <laughs> I I rewatch as I said in the last podcast. I watched the thing again. I love the um the old diabetes guy. What's his name? Wilfred Brimley. He's very good in it. You watched it again? Is this no. The second time since we've... Whenever I watched it from the last time, I just oh. forgot to mention it oh, last okay. time we were talking. Yeah. He was real. He's dynamite in that movie. Let's. Everyone's uh, solid in that movie. Give me your interpretation of the film. What do you think happens at the end? At the end? Yeah. What do you think is the? What's going on? I um. You know, I really, I, I like I said, I really would like to watch it again. Okay. I, I was gonna. But, you know, my Scream Factory, like I said last episode. Um, but, you know, uh, fucked up. Now yeah, you know but, you know fucked up, right? I know. Anyone, if anyone in the comments can tell me what movie that's from, I'll um, think about saying your name next time I do a video. Um, but uh, f just from the last time I watched it, what my interpretation would be is that Keith David is 100% infected <clears throat> and that Kurt Russell's fine. He knows he's infected. And they're just staring at each other. Why do you and, think that, though? Why do I think that he's infected? Yeah. Uh, like I say, I need to watch it again. But I've always felt that every time I've watched it. I always I, felt um, at the end that he was the one who was The infected. first few times I saw it, I sort of liked the idea of not knowing. But after seeing it more and more, there's a lot more evidence. Yeah. In my eyes. My interpretation. Evidence. I mean, obviously, evidence is not concrete. It's my interpretation of a movie. Mm -hmm. I believe he told Keith David totally was infected, was a thing. Yeah. Do you know why I'm, I'm certain of that almost? Because Kurt Russell at the end hands him a bottle of gasoline and he drinks it. Kurt Russell smirks. Yeah. And then he's movie ends. Yeah. If you, in case you forgot, they had many Molotov cocktails with them. Yeah. So I doubt he would make room for a bottle of liquor. He's got to yeah. take the place down. He's got to kill everything, burn yeah. everything. And plus, Keith David, um, I'm, I don't remember if a uh, diabetes guy, Wilford Brimley, shows up at the base. We see him go on the base, and then Keith David runs out. Or we see Keith David run out, then he goes into the base. If it's the former... Yeah. Then yeah, that's obvious. That I mean, listen, thing. there's there's multiple ways you can say. You could say Keith David's infected. You could say maybe they're both infected. You could say Kurt Russell's infected. You could say yeah. Kurt Russell's infected. You could say that neither of them infected and they're just freezing to death together. 
yeah. in Basse France. France, you know, just freezing it up together. Um, so it's, 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 you know, it's not like I, I don't never get an argument about it. Yeah. Um, I think it's a beautiful ending. Well, that's love what, the way it ends. Yeah, so me I mean, it's too. Kind of, I think it's just a perfect movie, really. I really love um, the ending. It's one of my favorite endings. Oh, too. it's definitely one of the greatest endings of all time, for sure. It's um, it sticks with you yeah. forever. Yes. Yeah, yeah. If you haven't watched the thing and um, you're not pissed off, we just sort of ruined the <laughs> ending for you. Be sure to check out your local library for a fresh copy. Yeah, pick up the Scream Factory. Or don't, because you got screwed. Well, it's, it's it's not their fault. It's fucking Amazon's. They bought yeah. they bought a bunch of copies from them, and they fucking ripped my copy. Those fuckers. Copy rippers. Fucking rippers. Rippers of the copies. <laughs> ripping and the tearing. The ripping and the tearing. What? Uh, any other movies you want to get into? Anything you want to talk about with us tonight? Um. Mm-hmm. I mean, you want to talk about good. Uh, I don't know, like good uh, monster disaster movies. Honestly, I or... haven't seen one. Oh, the Blob, the Thing, the Blob, the Thing. <laughs> the um, blob is, uh, I maybe mean, Blob's great. Eighty-eight. Blob I was gonna awesome. say the Fly, but it's not the same thing. No, that's that's nothing. I like the Fly though. Yeah, it's really good. What it's, others? It's give me one. You give me some sort of monstery, good monster, big um, monster movies. Yeah, so I had. Uh, I definitely would go with Pacific Rim. Uh, I I saw it in the theater and absolutely loved it. That's the case of where you know movie is schlocky, you know, giant robots, giant monsters. Well, you got it. It was had some fun it, action. And I stuff. hadn't seen a giant monster movie since God. '98 Godzilla. Yeah, really, probably have. Yeah, and it's just um, absolutely loved it. I don't know if it'll have the same effect at home, you know, but it was just man, I fucking loved it in the theater. I still haven't seen it. Yeah, I that movie just really worked for me. And there's there's one scene in that movie that completely harkens back to his um, his Spanish films. There's a, there's a child in the film. A niña. Yeah, I a niña. I won't spoil the scene, but the way it's filmed, it just it it just like harkens to what Guillermo's really good at with you know kids filming kids. He's so good at having chi- children in his movies, like with, you know, Pan's Labyrinth and obviously... I just watched Devil's The Devil's Back, Backbone. And even Chronos. It's even very Chronos effective. Has kids. Yeah, he's just... His Spanish films are really untouchable. And, uh... Well, let's be honest, though. Chronos... Would you put Chronos really on like the same... Chronos. I really liked it, too, but... Not, it's no. not nearly as good as, as, far as Devil's Backbone or Pan's Labyrinth. As far as pure filmmaking, no, it's not anywhere as close to as good it's as a good, Devil's it's Backbone. It's a nice little good movie, though. It's I, got I meaning. Really it's got like subtext. It. I, I... Good subtext. I like I it. I really fucking like it, and the Criterion was gorgeous. Do you know what the guy's... The main character's name is? No. Jesus Gris. Yeah. Do you know what that means? Uh, Jesus Gray. Jesus Gray. Gray Jesus. Jesus. How else would you describe a vampire? That's pretty cool. He's got the gray hair. It's just a cool concept of just this He also gets all the gray skin and stuff. Ron Perlman is so over the top in it. It's good. The uh, other villain, he was okay. Not great. The uncle? Yeah, Ron Perlman's uncle in the movie. Yeah, that's one I want to watch again. It um, used to be on Hulu, when Hulu had a whole bunch of Criterion movies. Yeah. I've seen it like yeah, I saw six, the, seven I times. I saw the Criterion Blu-ray, and it was just gorgeous. Man. Yeah. Oh, like, I, we, I mentioned before the scene. I wish they the showed. The I wish they showed more. I loved seeing inside the device. I wanted to know more about the device. Oh yeah, the cool little thing that he has that stabs him in the hand. It's got some be- ancient yeah, beetle, beetle in it or thing, something. Yeah, it's really cool. Yeah, it's pretty. I like it. It was pretty dope. Yeah, it's like I like like you know when we talked about Tomb Raider before with like you know the little, uh, you know, machine things that they twist the, in their hands. You know the the puzzle Rubik's cube puzzly things. Yeah. I love seeing that kind of shit in movies. You know, I, I just re- I'm really into that stuff. You know. Yeah, I can get into it. So do you I like a, Hellraiser? Do you have a disaster pick or Twister? Twister. It's yeah. so awful. Welcome to the suck zone. That's all I have to say about that movie. Welcome to the suck zone. Philip Seymour Hoffman and the late great Bill Paxton. Rest in peace. And the late Philip Seymour Hoffman. Lest we forget. I just said Philip Seymour Hoffman. Said the late... um, I said Philip Seymour Hoffman and the late Bill Paxton. Yeah, but you failed to mention the late (laughs) Philip Seymour Hoffman. He's also died. (laughs) He injected heroin into his penis or something, I guess. Yeah, man. I, I'll tell you, that one fucked me up. 
Well, actually, both of them fucked me up. Well, honestly. here's the thing about God. that. I can understand people getting upset that people that they really respect and idolize or like die, but at the same time, I can't understand it because I don't get those feelings. Like, I'm a big. I really like David. Some David Bowie stuff. He died. Oh, whatever. Really? That sucks. Whoa, man. Did you listen to his last album? No. I was like fucking crying listening to that shit. Yeah, it was good. Because he made that while he was fucking dying. Yeah. He still... Also pancreatic end, cancer, right? Yeah, to the very end, he loved music so much that that he wanted to spend his last moments making music. And that album... Oh I can my respect God, that. Dude. He played fucking Pontius Pilate in a movie once. And you know, honestly, when I was younger, I was like, oh, it's not fucking shit. But when I got older, you know... It's... Well, there is... There is a lot of crap in his catalog, let's be honest. Yes. There's a lot of great yes. stuff, but is... there is a lot of shit. For sure, yeah. Absolutely, it's not But when flawless. you're recording stuff for that long, it's you know, it's going to happen. Yeah, and man, just beautiful album, and if you really look into the lyrics, yeah. Um, but yeah, Philip C. Hoffman, the sad thing for me is just like he had so much more time as an actor like yeah. he had so much more stuff to do and he's just so in he was so incredible did you see that one where he played right before he died he was like a German spy or something uh, Mark Man, a most wanted a man, most wanted yes. man. he was good in that he made that movie watchable yeah I was gonna say that <laughs> other than that it was pretty bo yeah, very boring movie another John Le Carre novel right I don't know I couldn't say yeah I think so um, I think so yeah I think I read that in the back cover now that you say that <laughs> That convinced me to watch it on yeah, Netflix I was about or Hulu. You're a big Lucari fan. I guess he made. There's another movie starring Pierce Brosnan called The Tailor of Panama, but I haven't ever I, heard it was good, so I have no I desire think to Jeffrey see it. Jeffrey Rush was in that with him. Yeah. I don't remember if I ever saw. You want to know a I, really dope, good sort of espionage movie? Munich. I uh, tell you what, I've uh, yeah. I've been meaning to rewatch that movie. Me when too. I first saw it. I did not like it. You I was like young. It? I was young. I was young too, but I really liked how dark and, yeah. and dreary everything I, was. You I know, know what I mean? Eric Bana's in it, Daniel Craig. I've been meaning to rewatch that. I never Jeffrey saw... Rush. Is he's in it? Really? He is um I um he's like a higher up in whatever Israeli I, agency I've they're never in. seen it on Blu ray and I feel like that's I haven't either. I've only seen DVD. it on a DVDs yeah. bought from Blockbuster that yeah. were scratched. That's a movie that Meant to be seen in Blu-ray, fucking HD. Meant to be seen in a fucking theater. Yeah, absolutely. But a Blu-ray is the next best thing. Yeah, and it's a pretty cheap movie. I think I saw it at a bed. I should really pick it up. Well, because like um, it wasn't very popular, right? Not many no, people it liked it, it or saw it. It didn't do very well, which doesn't surprise me. It's very dark, very... um. And It's an adult film. I would yes, not bring a very, child very, to very see it. Very, very serious dark movie. It's essentially it's about it's terrorism at the Olympics. Yeah, at the Olympics mm -hmm. in the seventies. Yeah, seventy six or eight. I think like Lebanese, either Lebanese terrorists yeah. or whoever Israel is yeah. really is fucking with. It's funny that you brought that up because this movie that I've been really thinking about rewatching lately. I was just like, man, I I can just keep thinking about it. They take the Israeli Olympians hostage, kill a bunch of them. And then the Israeli government sanctions the murder of the people who organized it. I like it because there's sort of, it's sort of a conflict because, yeah, they're getting, they're sort of doing right by their people, getting the people who killed them back. But at the same time, they're just outright murdering people, sneaking yeah. in their house and just blowing them away. You know what I mean? Yeah. I liked it. I thought it was a very good film. All the yeah, acting was great. Direction was great. Do you know who directed it? Spielberg. Oh, all right. I really like it. Yeah, he's, um, like I said, when I first saw it, I, I, I've only seen it once. I, I wasn't into it, but I've, I really wanted to revisit it because I don't think I was in the right mindset when I saw it. Yeah. Do you but, remember Doubt, speaking of yes. Israeli justice movies? <laughs> yeah, it's really justice movies. Um, yeah, I, I'm a big fan of Doubt. You know, Philip Seymour Hoffman. I saw it once. Philip Seymour Hoffman was in it? Yeah, we're talking about the, the Priest movie? Oh, Doubt? Never mind. I'm thinking of a different movie, The Debt. Uh, with Helen Mirren. Yeah. Which is a remake of a movie. Oh, seriously? Yeah, the original is a foreign language movie. Uh, I probably could see. Is it Israeli? Yeah, I think so. I could see that. Yeah. Was, have you ever seen the original? I saw the Israeli movie and I didn't see the, the remake. What you think the Israeli one? I wasn't a fan. And I wish that I saw the one with Helen Mirren and Sam Worthington. Helen Mirren was great. Yeah. Helen Dude. Mirren's just solid. She's a fucking treasure. National yeah, she's treasure. a very good actress. National treasure, she's English, you prick. 
Oh, come on. Everyone says that about just fucking every... You want to bang old ladies, don't you? Is that fuck Alan Mirren? I don't know. I've never really thought about it. I'd have to be in the room with her, you know what I mean? Really kind of feel it out. Yeah, I think you'd fuck Alan Mirren. Oh, my friend. She's not bad for an old lady. Yeah. Yeah. Um, since I brought it up, the doubt. <laughs> doubt. Doubt. I really like the tension. The at- That's yeah. an atmosphere. Very... You're, gonna, you're gonna give me shit. People <laughs> can give me shit about saying atmosphere. That's the, one of the most atmospheric a- movies absolutely. I've seen. Absolutely. Um, Amy Adams is good in that. Meryl Streep spectacular. is fantastic. A- Amy Adams was spectacular. She's one very of the subdued. Few, yeah. Very subdued performance. One of the late, yeah. um, rare late Meryl Streep movies that I was really... She really got oh, me into, you know what I mean? She was completely locked in. Like, when, when I think of some of the shit she's won for or been nominated for, I'm like, what the fuck? Like, that, that's the movie. Like, she yeah. should have got an Oscar for that fucking movie. I think the uh, playwright who wrote it actually directed yes. it. Maybe, or he just wrote the screenplay. I can't remember. Uh, did Bennett Miller direct it? I don't know. You, you might be right. I might be wrong. I don't know. I can't outside. rightly say. Yeah, that's another movie with uh, kind of an ambiguous ending. You don't really know. Uh, powerful ending yeah. with uh, Meryl Streep and Amy Adams. Um, and, man, Philip Seymour Hoffman. You will not do this in this church, Father. Yeah. She's great with a Boston accent. Yes. As is Philip Seymour Hoffman. Oh, he's just, God, man, he's perfect. See, my fingernails are long. I like to keep them long, but they're clean. You see, they're clean. Yeah. You can keep them clean, not be an animal, and have long fingernails. Keep them short or keep them long, but keep them clean. Yeah, and he, um, he never... With his performance, he never goes to one side too much. He really, the way he plays his performance. Well, up until the final confrontation, he kind of loses oh, so his you, shit. You, what do I have to do, sister? Yeah. So you, you think, so how do you feel about the ending? Do you think he really did fuck kids? Do you think he was a child? I think it's it's the type of movie where it's set up where you're not, it's supposed to be, you're not supposed to know. Yeah, but I'm saying it. With the ending, with her saying she has doubt about her faith and everything, and maybe I she, think he maybe did. it was a witch hunt for her because she yeah. was just losing her faith. She needed something to believe in. She I haven't that. seen in a while, but based on my recollections, I See, my I, thought was he molested somebody in the past. Since she brought it up, instead of he moved so many churches, yeah, they had to move him again. Right. Maybe he did. Maybe he molested that black kid there. Maybe he didn't. Yeah. Maybe he molested another kid there. Maybe he it's, didn't. It, it's really fascinating because for me, you know... It reminds me of 12 Angry Men. Yeah. The confrontations. I love yeah, there's a lot I love of... dialogue-heavy movies with confrontation. It's, it's, an, it's a really good example of a movie where just completely dialogue-driven that really works. That's why I like, some, like Aaron Sorkin. Because he just writes dialogue so well. Give me some good Aaron Sorkin-written films. Um, well, well, I just saw Molly's Game, which, which I said was really good yeah um he a few good men fantastic yeah I li- I li- it's it's um, got one of the that's that ending scene with jack nicholson makes the whole movie the rest of the movie yeah. it's serviceable it works fine you but like kevin bacon in that movie i thought he was great in that. no kevin bacon's good but i'm saying what makes the movie so memorable jack nicholson, of is the jack He's, nicholson role at the without end without him in general in that movie i mean it's you come here in your faggoty sentence. white uniform telling me what to do i sit next to 60 million cubans who want to kill me yeah i uh, I, I i like tom cruise in that too he's, ask he's me good. um tell me you want the truth tell me you want the truth you want the truth <laughs> you can't handle the truth oh boy pretty good right yeah. Oh, I'm going to be in Hollywood by the end you know of this week, my friend. what the best line friend. in that movie is? What? When Jack Nicholson is talking about female uh, officers and who are above his head. Yeah. He says there's nothing better than getting a blowjob. <laughs> it was pretty good. From I really like, like, I like, it's just the ending a part with great him. great movie, man. The ending part with him is so, that's what makes for me, he's just like, yeah. what does he say? He's like, um, Fuck. It goes something along the lines of like... Another one I want to rewatch. Well, see, you joke about it at parties. Well, we sit on the wall and defend you. And do you say thank you? No. You ridicule and disrespect everything that we stand for. Jack Nicholson, when he's given like a monologue sort of... Captivating. He was great. Yeah. I I love old Jack Nicholson. Jack Nicholson, man, when when he... uh, 
even do you remember the ending of Chinatown? I'm not going to spoil the ending. Do you remember the ending of Chinatown? Just his face. He doesn't say anything, but just his just his his. He goes straight from language. super angry just to like fuck. He can he can run the gamut with his face, his facial expressions. He was Moving very his good. Eyebrows and everything. He's he's just um yeah. He's really good at um you know a full body performance. You know he's he's always been that way. Jack Nicholson. Actual song. natural treasure. Do you like... <laughs> what are some of his newer movies that are good? Let's say post-90s. Post-90s? Oh, because I was going to say as good as it gets. Um, I, he's great in The Departed. Yeah. He's fucking fantastic yeah. in The Departed. I think he may make um, that movie for me. Uh, Honestly, he was great uh, in it. I mean, I mean, he's a great piece. I mean, Martin Sheen's great in it for the scenes he's in. Yeah. Uh, I, 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 think, he was, I think Leo's good in it. I know a lot of people are like, yeah, whatever. I'm I've never, it. like, hated Leo. I've never noticed it. But apparently he's not a good actor. All he does is scream, there's right? A, there's a lot of people who just feel like he's super limited and he's like a Harrison Ford actor just pointing his finger. I don't agree with that. If, I mean, anyone who says he's not a good actor, fucking watch him in Django. Fuck off, man. He was very he's good incredible in Django. In he was very Django. good. He should have won an Oscar. He wouldn't have won an I mean, I do think Christoph Waltz deserved the Oscar. I thought. I think his Christoph Waltz in Django is way better yeah. than he is in, than in Glorious Bastards. I don't know about I that. I love Christoph in Glorious Bastards. He's I love great in that. So he makes the whole movie. He's but so over the top evil. It's I just, perfect. I just think he, the, everything that he does in Django, his whole performance. Au revoir, Shushana. Sorry. Yeah. He's um. He, I mean, Christoph when he's Waltz sitting down with her at the goddamn buffet. Oh my god. That was fucking Fact. dope. You mean just the, the, the restaurant? The restaurant, yeah. pardon me. Yeah. I love that scene. Yeah. I like, Django was good, but I like Inglorious Bastards a lot better. No, I mean, I, Inglorious Bastards is a better movie, but I'm saying I, I, yeah. I generally think yeah, yeah. Christoph Waltz was, is better in Django. Okay. Um, and, but, but I mean, listen, Leo, that fucking scene, the dinner table scene when he's got that fucking skull. Well, I do declare. Pointing, and he's pointing at, you know, like the, the divots. Yeah. Inside the head, which was totally made up by him. That was none of none of that was Quentin Tarantino's dialogue. Hmm. He invented that whole scene and when he smashes the table yeah. and cuts open his hand, that really he really did that. He really cut open his fucking hand. So when he wipes so least, Harry Washington's I mean, face with blood. So you may not oh. like him as an actor, but at least recognize he's committed. I like yeah, him. He's at actor. least trying. I think Leo is a good actor. I, I don't I don't think, I don't think he's, he's good or ever. bad, honestly. I've never really he's never been except for the departed, maybe. He's never well, really been that remarkable. Gilbert Grape. I mean yeah. I've never seen it. Oh, okay. I mean, he's good I, um, in his first film, with This Boy's Life with De Niro. Like, I've he's, seen... He's very good. We watched it in school, because we read it, but he skipped... My friend, who was a year or two ahead of me, hyped me up. Oh, just wait till they do the doggy style scene. But I like it doggy style, De Niro says. My teacher just... Right before we get to that part, he just stops. We stop watching the movie. Yeah. It was the same teacher. What, a year later, you change your standards, man? <laughs> Come on. Yeah. But yeah. I like it doggy style. I still haven't seen that scene. <laughs> I still haven't watched the rest of this boy's life. I have no idea. I read the book. I, yeah. I need to see the movie to know, remember what happened. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? I've seen it, but yeah, I, I, uh, I, I think Leo's a lot better actor than people give him credit for. You know. What Where about Romeo and Juliet? I hate that fucking movie. <laughs> I like the opening scene at the gas station. I think it's fucking cool as fuck. Too stylized for me. Well, well I guess that's where we differ. I, I love super stylized shit. I love Nicholas Wine. Did you so. like um? Did you? I don't like the movie. But... Batman and Robin and Batman Returns. Well, Not that's... Batman Returns. Batman. What was the third Batman Forever? Batman Forever. Yeah, that was the third one. Fourth one. Batman, was Batman Forever. And Robin. Batman and Robin. They're just. They're aping, you know, the Adam Wash show, and it's garbage. Yeah. But that's not the town of style that I like. Yeah, because it's in contrast to what what we saw before. Super dark, super sort of gothic-y style, yeah. you know what I mean? I mean, listen, you know, Tim Burton, you know, they should have made another movie, but the reality is the, the studio fucked them. I mean, they, they wanted to sell toys, and Tim Burton was making a dark fucking dark movie. So. Do you like the first one or the second one better? I'm pretty sure we've gone over this, but I just want to... Uh, I don't think I'll show up, but, um, I, uh, uh, it's I, I, I it's easy them. for me. 
I have the four pack Blu rays from like Walmart oh, or something. I got them like two or three years ago. Um, I would always rewatch 89 Batman more than Batman Returns, but yeah. I do. I if I watch one, I gotta watch the other. It's it's never like I watch okay. I, I watch them together. So um, I enjoy 89 Batman more, but except for you know, I mean, Kim Basinger, her scream is so fucking annoying, but yeah, you know. Batman Returns has way more going on and is much more darker and subversive. It's easy for me. I, it's definitely Returns for me. Yeah. Uh, the Prince album throughout the entire first one, it really, it really, it really hurts it for me. I like Prince, but it's not. Yeah. It wasn't a good idea, Warner Brothers, to yeah. try to push his album. I'll be honest with you, I'm, I'm not a Prince fan. Never really liked his shit. Nothing. Nothing. Mm. Nothing. I mean, he's a good guitarist. He was very talented. Was very talented. <laughs> but uh, yeah, just I don't get the whole Purple Rain thing. The I mean, movie fucking sucks. I have Fuck never it's wanted garbage. to see it. It's garbage. Um, but yeah, I don't understand the love for that album either. It's just all of his music. I don't. I don't get it. How can you get. just leave me standing? When doves cry. I don't, I don't know. I don't get it. Yeah. I don't get it. Teach his own. Music is very um, subjective. Same thing with movies. Like yeah. that's why I like these conversations because we may disagree about something about a movie, but that's fine. We it's can not disagree like, hey, I'm never talking it. to you again. Fuck off. Yeah, <laughs> you gotta understand in conversation or in sort of just speaking your opinion, you gotta understand you're not gonna change somebody's mind. So why go yeah. out of your way to try and do so? Yeah. I don't know. Why don't we give uh, some final recommendations, I guess, so many sort of subject you've been thinking of? Uh, well, I, I did say one disaster movie. I said Pacific Rim, and you said Twister, and we went off on our Philip Zimmerhoff Hoffman Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, I, I think I had another one, I can't remember it now. Um, they use, I haven't seen a good one. A good disaster movie. I enjoyed the first day after tomorrow when I saw it in the theater. I haven't uh, seen it. it very, that's another schlocky movie, stupid. Um, yeah. Soft. Just uh, really man. Welcome to the suck zone, people. <laughs> and the only one I could, another one I could think of is Poseidon Adventure, right? The original or the remake? I haven't seen either. Ugh, yeah. There's another one where there's earthquake tremors. That's Tremors. a disaster monster yeah, movie Tremors that I can get on board great. with. It's all schlock. Don't take any of it seriously. But it's yeah, fun. It's great. It all works. It's all fun. Yeah. There's no bullshit. Just have fun with it. Tremors. Yeah, side characters are great. The cast movie. was perfect. Yeah. See, that's a problem with all the sequels. Besides from uh, Cash Flow, the rest of the sequels needed those actors back. Yeah, which wasn't going to happen. But, um, yeah, th they're still making Tremor sequels. Yeah. I guess the Jamie the last Kennedy's one is on the Netflix. Couple? The yeah. last one is on Netflix. None of the seen. others. I've uh, I've saw the a few of the sequels on like the Sci-Fi channel. I've seen the first three probably. Yeah, and I remember having fun with them, but they're not the second one is awful. The yeah, one. the second one is awful. Yeah. It's a passable, just you know, have a couple beers, kill time movie, but yeah. it's not good. Yeah, it's, but I mean, you can have some fun with it, you know. Yeah, because it's cheesy. Yes. The um so old there that's an older lady actress in the second one who was sexy. The hook was she was second, a former porn star. The second yeah. one? Yeah. I can't remember the second one. Yeah, I know. That's fine. But uh yeah, yeah, first tremors is great. Just cool really cool concept. You know. Jaws on land. Why don't you uh you got can you can you give me a fucking disaster, another disaster or monster movie? That's all I need. That's all I want. That's all I need. Another disaster or monster movie. Man. Not Monster House. Monster. I've never seen Monster House. Nor have I. Um, God. What? What monster movie? Oh, I'm trying to think. God, I can't believe I'm drawing a blank here. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Alright, I got one. I got, I got a really weird... <laughs> I'm going to go with uh, Chupacabra. With Lou Diamond Phillips, yeah, I bet it, it sucks. Was, it's uh, it's garbage. It's trash. It was it on was, the Sci-Fi Channel. Yeah, <laughs> and it's just I just remember having a blast watching. Have that. you ever seen a um, Spanish language? I think South American Chupacabras movie. 
but it turns out to be a little girl who's feral. No. I okay. I saw it. it a while ago on Netflix. I can't remember yeah. the name. It's kind of bugging me, but whatever. That's weird. This kid, because, like, this kid is, like, allergic to the sun or something weird, they move to the mountains. Oh, like powder? Never saw that. Yeah. Another 90s film that I saw on Fox or something, and I the never stopped who, uh, to watch. The guy who did uh, Jeepers Creepers directed it. Jeepers Creepers is pretty good until you First. learn about the monster. Yeah, the director who's a child monster. Yeah? Yes. All right. It's a pretty good note to leave on. <laughs> Don't support child molesting filmmakers. Support Rudy Land, adult molesting filmmaker. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Ha 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 